خمسة أربعة ثلاثة اثنين واحد Good evening, dear students from all of Egypt. Welcome to today's session. Today, we're going to have part two, inshallah, of Unit 6. Uh, with you today, Mrs. Anani Shafi Said Badawi, the Rabbi Governorate, Ms. Samar Yahya, Alexandria Governorate, and me, Ms. Wafa Hassoub, Suha Governorate. Hello, Ms. Anani. Hello, my dear students. I hope you both enjoyed it. Share with us, please. Inshallah. Yes, Ms. Wafa Hassoub. Okay. Well, unit six, as we all know, uh, with the title of Let's Get It Done. Okay, yes, we are going to discuss today the great expectation definition, uh, language notes, and so on. Yes, Ms. Amani. And we have to start with definition again. The word plenty is a noun. Enough or more than enough. Plenty something. Too much. We have got plenty of time before we need to leave for the airport. So it's available. Our time is available for us. We have here post. It's a verb. Speaker proud like me. So proud about himself. Uh, parents enjoy posting about their children's achievements. They are so proud of their work and talking about their work. We have form, both the verb and the noun. Form, make something begin to exist. This is form in the thing. Or this is a form, a nice form, our, our nice uh, form to follow. This means a shape of something to follow. A crowd formed around the accident. This means there is a circle or the people make a circle or form the circle around the accident. We have here the moonlighting, the shadow forms of the house. See here the expression using the form, the shape of the house, and it's highlighted as that. We have the word pressed. It's now the part between the hand and the arm. See between your hand and fingers and the, your arm. This is the first rest. I Branded my rest playing squash while using squash and my racket. Okay, a racket I branded. Branded it. We have sleeve of clothes here, part of clothes that cover some or some of or all the arms. See, some sometimes it's a half place, not in the summer with them. You would better roll your sleeves up all your way. Yes, it's dirty. You are doing something with clay or mud or whatever. You have to take the sleeves of your t shirt or your clothes up. Not to be there. Yes, Ms. Wafa. Hey, thank you, Ms. Amani. <clears throat> okay, moving to a uh, score. It's a noun. And uh, what do you think score means? It's a mark left after an injury. So if you injured your uh, your le your wrist, your leg, your face, or something, okay. Uh, so a score, okay, starts to uh, appear in your face or uh, into your body. And also, it has another meaning. Means a sign of destruction, okay. Uh, destruction in a place or uh, some somewhere uh, in 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 any place. Uh, let's have a look at the example. First example, a mark left after an injury, an injury that burn will leave a nasty scar, okay, uh, on her first uh, face or hand or so on. And um, the, the definition of scar as a sign of destruction, every village bears the scars of war. So here, scars means signs of dest destruction. Okay, what about the word remarkable? Remarkable is an adjective and it means unusual or something special. Okay, let's have a look at this example. Meeting you here in Rome is a remarkable coincidence. Okay, so coincidence here, uh, a remarkable here means uh, an adjective. It means special thing for me, or special event to me. Okay, so take turns, take turns here. Uh, it's same thing done one after another. 
So if you have something to do after another thing, we can say take turns. OK, uh, look at the example. We take turns to answer the phone. So he starts and I follow him and so on. OK, uh, we have a verb, a wonderful verb here. It's encourage. OK, to encourage means to make someone like to do something. OK, to make him brave. He wants to do this thing. Have a look here. We were encouraged to learn foreign languages at school. What about the word here? Enthusiastic. This is an adjective and we will we will tell you about another um, derivative of the word enthusiastic. This is an adjective meaning meaning feeling energetic and interested in something. So if you feel uh, so interested in, in something, OK, we can call ourselves or call our emotions enthusiastic about something. Uh, you don't seem very enthusiastic about the party. Shall we cancel it? So here's our feeling about something. Yes, it's do it with us, Miss Amani. Do we have any of our beautiful uh, students? Yes, we start with Jihan here with us. Hello, Jihan. Welcome. Yes. Nice to have you. Yes, she asking about uh, how was it going to be with the novel, and uh, I told her that yes. going to go, and all my dear students are going to handle it as uh, a written question, and she's. Uh, you're going to have a question and you're going to answer uh, uh, your answer. So it is not there is no choices here. It's, it's a new thing. So take care and start study and we will have it with you inshallah. Don't worry. Now let's take number one. It's your face to do the washing up. Okay, let's see here. Impression or turn with activity performance. This is an expression. Take care. It's your. Come on. Where are you, my dear children? Crystal, uh, no answer. Now, yes, I have an answer here. Yes. And we have Ritaj. Welcome, Ritaj. It's Ritaj. Ritaj. Turn. Exactly. Perfect. So moving to <laughs> moving to number two. After arresting the robber, cuffs were put on his cuffs. It's a metal, okay, metal chain that we put it on on his what? Wrist, sleeves, ankles, or elbows. What do you think? When we arrest any criminal, we put cuffs where in his legs. Rest, sleeves, ankles, elbows. What do you think? Come on. Yes, we have the touch here, number one. Uh, Jihan uh, answered uh, yes, the last one will be yes, Jihan. Now, number two, she said, uh, Ritaj. Uh, exactly, exactly. Yes. Not sleeves, not ankle, not elbows, of course. Yes, Miss Seven. One term, Jihan number two is A. Well done, Jihan, Salma, welcome, Salma, and well done. Okay, number three, nobody proposed to marry her. You see that face on her face. Oh, request, rest, leave, or scar. What do you think? So you have to learn what to omit quickly and think of the, the possibility. Yes, we have number. Yes, Jihan, number D. Exactly. Thank you, Jihan. You're always number one for our questions. Perfect. Well done. Okay, Jihan, well done. Uh, yes. Yes, Mr. Manny, go ahead, please. Okay, we're going to complete with the definitions. Keep away from, that means not to approach someone or something. Keep away from something or away from someone. Keep away from the edge of the cliff. So it's a warning here. Don't come closer to this edge or you're going to fall or be an accident. We have the word relief, it's a noun. A feeling of happiness, what a relief. 
it's a person who wants to have relief. Oh, I feel it's a relief in things to, to know the news or to be supported. It was such a relief to hear that Martha was found safe and well. What a relief to find the, the good result of it. Hold on to this is an expression and keep keep something you have. Hold on this, stick to it, hold it tight. Hold on to your ticket. You will need it later. So you are in, on the bus or in the train. You have to hold that until the end of the trip. We have the verb cough here. It's a force air out of your lungs through your throat. It's a cough. <coughs> so you have this sort. It's not really tough. Yes, we have a, a cough here. <laughs> yes, it's me coughing. Yes. yes <laughs> we have here the word drop. It's a verb. Allow something to fall. <clears throat> fall is something to happen just like this. But to drop it means that you are intentional to make it fall. You know that? Fall, that means uh, uh, the baby uh, moves and he falls. Done. But uh, he dropped the pen to intentionally make it drop. Uh, she dropped her keys, so she dropped it intentionally or not, but she do the action, not happen to her accident. Yes, Ms. Okay, thank you, Ms. Avani. Oh, yes, we have here the word affectionate. Affectionate is <coughs> an adjective and it means showing feelings of love, okay? Uh, love, care, tender, and so on. Uh, look at the, exam <coughs> the example here. He's an affectionate little boy. So it means that he's showing a lot of emotions of love, preferring, and so on. Uh, and <coughs> we have the adverb of it is affectionately. Okay, so uh, we know that adverb, okay, describes the verb. Adverb describes the verb. So she smiled affectionately at her fiance. So it means that she, she smiled with with feelings um, showed uh, onto her her face or her mouth. What about the word haunt? By the way, it equals another word with without a. H a u n t haunt. Okay, so we have haunt and hunt. Both are verb. It means to cause repeated suffering. Okay, so to cause repeated suffering to someone or something, it means to haunt it. Uh, 30 years after the fire, he's still haunting by images of destruction. So haunt here doesn't mean to catch um, to catch a, a, a prey or something like that to, to, to hold it and and eat it. No, here we have another meaning of the word haunt. It means to cause repeated suffering. You know, uh, people that they, they come from uh, war. OK, they came from war. After war, they suffer from the images of the dead bodies. So uh, the images of uh, destruction and dead bodies and so on. OK haunt them for a long time or haunting them for a very very long time so haunt here means to repeat suffering or cause repeated suffering for uh, someone what about the, <laughs> the word shiny so shiny here is an adjective and it means pride because it reflects light something that reflects light and shine and makes pride to everyone to see it uh, he was wearing shiny black shoes, so his shoes were very shiny that everyone can see the light from it. What about the word life sentence? We know that the word sentence means a, a combination of words together that combine together to, to form a sentence. But here the word sentence had a different meaning, a completely different meaning. What does life sentence mean? It means the punishment of being put in prison until death. OK, so if the judge told someone that he is going to be for life, OK, until death in prison, this is <coughs> this is we call a life sentence. Look here to the example, the convict, the criminal 
was serving life sentence for murder. Okay. Miss Avani, do it with us. Here yeah. students. Do it with us. Here they and we have Mayan here. I hope. Hello, Mayan. Nice to have you. Yes, Where is Yusuf? I hope that he's going to join us, inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, number one said, My sister gave me a very long and space hug. Okay. Impressed, affectionate, anxious uh, life. Okay. Remember the omission, what we're going to omit because it is. Uh, yes, we have Norhan. Welcome, Norhan. It's affectionate. Yes, affectionate is number <laughs> three. Perfect. Norhan exactly. Three. Well done, Thank you, Norhan. Thank yes, you. Norhan. And, uh, <laughs> okay, moving to number two. After the exam, I felt an incredible sense of we all, after finishing all of our exams, what do we feel? Do we feel rest, hurry, relief, or cough? It's pretty obvious and pretty easy for you. What do you think? Yes, we have an answer here quickly. We have Jihad said number. Number what a okay, number two would be. And yes, it will be numbers number. Yeah. Go yes. ahead. Have you, yes, uh, what a relief. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, sense of relief. Nohan, Ritaj, and Jihan, all the time. Thank you, thank you. All of you are the best. Wonderful, exactly. The sense of, by the way, it's an idiom, a sense of relief. We we have it together, okay? A verbal collocation, we can say. Sense of relief. Yes, yes, Ms. Seven. <laughs> Number three, fighting in war is an experience that would space you forever remember what just said before okay enjoy would enjoy on our wars and enjoy no i don't think so care disappoint hunt take care what need after wood what you need what you need what you remember Number the uh, hand said hunt uh, exactly D and the retard and uh, no hand. Well done. It's a verb hunt here. So we need it. Perfect, my ladies. Yes. Yes, Miss Amani. Go ahead, please. Okay, we have here the and the and the word is it's obvious. We have the word. First one is real. Either the unreal, it's unreal things, or it's a fake. It's not true, nothing true in it. We have the word encourage, and we put uh, the prefix uh, discourage. Discourage someone is just uh, not to make him do something, stop him. We have friendly and uh, unfriendly. And the word wrong, the opposite, completely right. We have revenge here to revenge someone for, for your things or forgive. It's a, a big merit. Uh, yes. We have here uh, grumpy. Oh, grumpy. No, so, so grumpy. Yes, it's so sad with the, with the picture and in his face. Grumpy. We have the word cheerful. Oh, it's the opposite. We have the word Tough. Someone is tough that he may deal with him in a bad way, and uh, the opposite is kind. And I'm going to stop you and then go on, Ms. Wafa. <laughs> okay, Ms. Amani. Okay, let's continue. Uh, the antonym of uh, the word comfortable to feel comfortable about something, it means that I um, love it, okay, and I feel relieved. So the opposite of it is uncomfortable, okay. To get on, okay, or get off, to get on a, a train or get off a train. Uh, plenty means um, so many of the of the thing or much of, of it, okay? So I have 
plenty of things to do uh, in my school or I have little things to do uh, at my school. Uh, for I live okay far away from the station or near the station. Trust, I trust my parents, I trust my family or I mistrust them, okay? Include, um, well, my subjects include English, Arabic, um, uh, science and th so on, okay? And exclude to take something to extract it out of it, uh, to expand, okay? So my work was expanded um, to uh, different countries and explain, it means that it's reduced, not expanded. Moving to the synonyms, we have the word behave, it means to act, okay, to act towards something, to behave in a good way or to act in a good way. So anxious, it means worried, so I feel anxious about the exam. Terrible, he made me feel terrible about what I did. It means bad or unpleasant. Uh, glad, I'm so glad to meet you, it means I'm very happy to see you. Okay, sure, uh, yes, it means I'm certain about doing something. So I'm sure about my beliefs as Muslim. And it means certainty or to be certain about something. Uh, tutor, it means to have, okay, uh, lessons or a private lesson at home. So tutor, uh, he's a teacher that he gives you um, lessons or gives you your subject, teaches you your subject at home. Uh, chaos, it means, uh, confusion to have um, plenty of things that's not organized. So um, we live in a chaos organization or a chaos world. It means a confusion world. Uh, you may continue, please, Miss Amani, because I have your azan here now. Okay. And we have here uh, chaos, and she said uh, <coughs> uh, confusion. Then an expression to use it, life sentence, it's a life imprisonment. Happens. That means he is uh, have a long period there, it will be taking all his time. We have plenty, means much, plenty of time. We have complex, yeah, complex, somewhat. <coughs> so we become a complex, so it's criminal. We, uh, I'm sorry, receive, let's get, receive something, get something. We have fun, it's a fun for a, a sport or whatever, uh, and admire, um, admire, see, admire. Uh, Ms. Amani, raise your voice, please. Okay. We have here, I'm going to say from receive, we have get, to get something. We have fan, we have admire, admire someone, if he's a fan of him, that's admire him, admirer. We have behavior here. Behavior is the, the way you deal, the way you act, that means the conduct, your style, or the way you, you do it. We have the commuter. Commuter is the traveler, someone who traveled a lot from places, uh, from one place to the other. So it's a commuter or traveler. Yes, Mr. Fah. Uh, Ms. Amani? Yes. Uh, continue, please. Yes, okay. We have taken, we have taken behavior. It's a conduct or the way you deal with it. We have the, after that the commuter traveling traveling from one place to another. Let's continue, please. Okay. We go on with the language notes. We have plenty of plenty of Um, 
Lisamani, uh, please repeat it again because we cannot hear your voice. Okay. We have plenty of followed by uncountable nouns. Take care. And we have a lot of followed by both countable and uncountable nouns. Okay. This car cost me plenty of money. Okay. So I, I can't, uh, can't count them a lot, a very, a bit too much. We have here a lot of there were a lot of people see countable there and after that she wasted a lot of time on shopping not good much Uncountable down, but there is sort of negative. I don't earn much money. Good many, and followed by countable down. I see negative. Any car. Antonia, so the mukin nefer el mai li hini intahay el adan ustaz wafa. Okay, okay, ustaz wafa, tamam. We have the word much and many. Much with uncountable and negative, likely negative. Many countable and likely negative. Also, so let's see the example. I don't earn much money. Many. There weren't many cars on the road. Almost empty. Okay. <coughs> okay, have you finished, Miss Amani? Yes, sir. Sorry, I couldn't hear you uh, because of the Azan. <coughs> okay, so uh, we are going to continue the language note, dear students, and concentrate, please. We have among, amongst, and between. What is the difference between the three of them? Okay, so let's have it together and concentrate, please. We have the word among, among here, okay? It's uh, commonly used when something is um, in or with a group, okay? So in the middle of other things. So if we have one thing, okay, in the middle of groups or in the middle of other things, we use among, we use among. Like we have here, I saw a few familiar faces among the crowd. So the crowd here is a group of things, a group of people. I can also uh, tell you, uh, she dropped her phone among the flowers, okay? Uh, among people and so on. So if we have um, other things or other groups and we have one thing um, in the middle of these groups, we use among. What about the word between? It's among two things or two groups, okay? So it's not one thing in middle of other things or uh, in middle of one group. No, we have two things, comparing between two things or gathering two things, two groups and so on. So this is between. You have to choose between a holiday or um, a dishwasher. So we have two things, so we use between. But if we have if we have group and we want one thing among this group, we use the word among. What about the word amongst? Amongst. Well, among and amongst they are similar in the meaning and in the form and in the usage uh, itself. So amongst we use it in the middle of other things. But the only difference is among is pretty old, pretty old and used awfully okay uh, in, in in English. But amongst, amongst, okay, is used only in British English, and it's uh, it's more modern than the word among. But uh, when we use, we can use among and amongst. Uh, they are um, alike or they are equal to each other. Hope you got the difference between among, 
and between. We have make good use of something. To make good good of uh, use of something, it means to benefit from it. Okay, to take benefits from this thing. So look here. To be a winner, you must make good use of your time. So you must take, get benefits from your time. What about here? Enthusiasm, enthusiast, and enthusiastic. So they are the three are confusing. So what is the difference? Enthusiasm is noun. Enthusiast is noun, and enthusiastic is an adjective. So uh, enthusiasm here, okay, uh, it's what you feel or uh, what you have for something. So enthusiasm, is, enthusiasm express feelings, okay, express el hamas. So enthusiasm express your feelings or what you have towards something. Enthusiast is the person himself, al mutahamis. So enthusiast is the person. What about the word here, enthusiastic? So enthusiastic here is an adjective. It means to to have um, feeling or to, to be excited about something. Look here at this example. After the accident, he lost his enthusiasm. So enthusiasm here is his feelings. He lost his enthusiasm for the sport. And she's a model uh, aircraft enthusiast. So enthusiast here is a person. She is uh, enthusiastic about something, okay? And we can <laughs> say another example. If you are a football enthusiast, a football enthusiast, okay? You have enthusiasm for football. Did you get it? Hope you get it, inshallah. Okay, tell me if uh, there is any confusion for you. Yes, Ms. Amani. Yes. And uh, he did do it with us. Okay. Number one, I lost this about the project. When yes. they switched teacher. Oh, something happened. So she lost what? Yes, take care. Enthusiasm. Right. Feelings, yes. West. Enthusiastic. Which one? Yes. What? Um, I lost about the project. <coughs> Enthusiasm, quest, enthusiastic. Do you remember what just said? Come on. What is it about? Which one? Yes, we have Ziad. Welcome, Ziad. It's your B. Hello, Ziad. Yes, yes, number B. It's your Ziad. Exactly. Yes, well done. The last. Yes, Ziad. Number B. Yes, it's a noun. Oh, Ziad. It's a noun. Yes, it's a noun. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> moving to. Salma. Salma. Well done, Salma. Welcome, Salma. Yes. Perfect, Salma. Perfect, Siri. Okay, moving to number two. She has worked as an asset, uh, as an estate agent, uh, says other things. So we have here other things. What do you think? Between, among, also, or aside. Uh, <laughs> she has worked as an estate agent. Huh. What do you think? Yes, it says number one was the uh, enthusiasm, but uh, what about number two? Yes, sir, well done. Three. And, and we have Jihan, I think, answered number, it's C, among. Perfect. Yes, Nurhan, among is, yeah, well done, well done. Welcome. Well done. Yes. Like the spirit, yes. Number three, don't take your brother juice. There is a space in the face. Okay, answer that. Plenty, little, long, shiny. Yes, Salma, it's a manga. We have Nada, Nada, Nada. <coughs> yes, welcome. It's a manga, yes, well done. Uh, our number three, yes. Welcome, Nada and Salma, yes. Oh, yes, we have Jihan here. First one, we have number A, plenty. Well done, Jihan. And someone else, yes, uh, we have Norhan, also plenty. Well done. 
Bonsoiri. Yes, we have Riyadh. Anna Manas Holkam. Yes, and Riyadh. What is your name, please? Yes, Miss Amin. Language note. At the request of someone. See here the expression. At the request of someone. The clause added to the contrast are the cards. Uh, you have to say it. We ha I have voices here. Say it, Miss Papa. Miss Amani? Miss Amani? I have noises in the street, so I, I stop it. Okay, at the request of someone, the clause was added to the contract at the Cardi's request. The request of someone. Someone asked for it or demanded it. She asked for the clause to be added. You have to add, add this now. Arrived in countries, cities, towns. Let me see here. We arrived in Paris that day. Okay, arrived in countries, cities, towns. Arrived at other places. We arrived in Paris. Now, it was dark by the time we arrived at the station. Small place. It's a okay, it was uh, it was dark by the time we arrived at the station. At the station, at the station, we arrived at the school at the hospital so it's a certain place not a big city or a country or a town a small place specific one at we have the word uh, the get to mean reach something get to reach something we won't get to or reach uh, miami till five o'clock and get to or reach miami at five o'clock yes Ms. Okay, so moving <clears throat> to the language notes, we have solution. So solution is a noun and it means an answer to a problem or another thing, it means liquid. Wow, so we have two different meanings of the word solution. Let's have the first example about an answer to a problem. When you finish doing the, uh, the crossword, the solution will turn up. So solution here means an answer. Okay, sorry. Okay, you may continue, Mr. Amani, because I have an azan. Okay. We have solution, as Ms. Rafa said, an answer to a problem or a liquid. When we finish doing the crossword, the solution will turn it up. So we have it solved. Done. We have copper dissolves into solution. No copper, when it has, dissolves like melting but it has to say about metal we say dissolves not melt uh, in solution become like uh, liquid something like liquid we have uh, depression it means unhappy and there is a hole or a hole sleeping problems are a classic symptom of depression oh, it's, uh, very bad things there was a depression in the sand where he had been laying. So there is a mark or a, a place gone down on the sand cause of his laying down as he has his shape on the sand. You know what is, see, see is like the print you put it or the place you push it like this. So it's a depression. We have the word tough is an adjective, difficult or violent. There will be a tough uh, team to be. That means a strong one, a difficult to be. It's very strong. The toughest criminals are held in this prison. This is the most violent one is put in this uh, prison forever. We have a special place for them. Continue, Samani. Okay, you have to do it with us, please, and I hope you're enjoying me. Number one, the boss refuses our 
space to leave work early. Okay, take care. Use our sentence. Enthusiasm. Request. Life. Which one? Refuse what? What, what? what can I refuse? Refuse what? Do you think? Yes, we have research here said request. Yes, exactly. If you use the request, yes, sir. Perfect, Ritaj. <clears throat> okay, so moving to number two. The deep space over the Atlantic will gradually move eastwards. So the deep what? The deep depression, reflection, chaos, or solution. You know, uh, over the Atlantic will... Uh, there is uh, a plenty of holes there, okay, that moves uh, gradually uh, eastward. So, what does it mean? The deep what? So we have uh, its request anonymous and said yes. This is the one of how what about this one? Yes, we have number C. Number one is C. What about number two, please? Two. We have Salma here said the solution, and Jihan said the number, number P. Oh, sweetie, we told you. I said solution. Take care. Okay, okay, take care. Now we we think about it. Deep over the Atlantic, you see. Norhan said depression. Exactly. Depression. Yes. Yes. Depression. It's a, a, like a hole here, there. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. yes sir. Yes, Mr. Yes, yes. Okay, so moving to number three. <clears throat> what time will your train space? So what time will your train get, reach, or return or arrive? So your train, your train what? Get yes, have uh, not here for the first one. Arrive. Wow. Arrive, of course. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Your train arrives. Wonderful, dear students. Number T, yeah, yes, it's number T. Oh, yes, and here we know that your unit is about productivity, okay, to be productive and um, achieve a lot of things. So, we prepared an essay for you, it's, uh, it's called or the title of Productivity, and we want you to start writing your essays and try sending it to us uh, in the chat box, please. So, this is Productivity. Um, we will drop the link to the PowerPoint so you can read it. And moving, inshallah, to our quiz time. <coughs> Wait. Yes. Change, I change it. Uh, okay, so <laughs> we want you to write your name. Uh, yes, Miss Amani, start please. Yes, uh, well done, Ali. And this exclamation mark, of course, because well done, starting with that, uh, and take this punctuation, take care. Space, hard work, brainstorm, carry on, suppose, waste. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I, I like his job, so I am encouraging him. What I'm going to say to him? Come on, cost timing, please. Okay, what do you think? Brainstorm? Brainstorm hard work, do you think it's coming with us? Carry on hard work. Suppose, waste. I think I'm going to omit first one, waste. Yes, Norhan, Ritaj, well done. Carry on. Yes, carry exactly. on. That's encouragement. Exactly. And Nada, yes, welcome. And Salma. We need to continue the hard work. Yes, exactly. Yes, carry on. Okay, so number three. He is a or an member in. <clears throat> sorry about this problem. Okay. Uh, yes, let me stop it first. Uh, I guess this is extensions. Yes, where are you? Yes. We have it here and pause. 
Oh yeah. Okay, so um, let me close this. Sorry for that. So he is a or an member in charity. He exerts great effort. So what do you think? He is a lazy or an a lady, a frustrated, active or massive member in charity. And hurry, please. Just for the time period, yes, go on. Okay, let's see a or an yes, we have here uh, Jehan number C yes active. Yes, exactly. Active. Active. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, okay, we will close with this sentence, Miss Amani. <clears throat> yes, one uh, stress affects your uh, space at work. It reduces your productivity. Okay, affects something and reduce productivity. <coughs> Drawback, priority, alternative. This affects your work at work. Yes, it was active first one, uh, the last one. What about this one? Nada, yes, Salma, yes. It will be your, affects your performance. Yes, we have Nada, the first one. Well exactly. Done. Okay, so we reached the end of our session today. Thank you, Dr. Smith, for your.